In today's video, I'm going to do a guide on energy circle system in Fairytale First Fly. Um, starting off with just an overview of how this actually works, and then giving you a few tips uh, or thoughts on how do I think you should focus on, uh, well, what should you be focusing on when you are considering energy circle and the various different stones and also different rarities, etc. Now, uh, this, the way this works is that you first of all start off with um, let me try to pick a level one character. So basically, if you feature have, just have a character by themselves, uh, what happens is that you see you have it made up of two parts. One is kind of circle where you're able to embed an actual stone, and then there's this other part which is just giving you like a flat stat. Now, when you are just level one, you it doesn't allow you to unlock anything. But however, as you can see, as you go higher level, you're able to unlock some slots in your circle, which you are then able to embed some stones into it. And the beauty of this system is that you're able to swap the stones between characters free of charge. Uh, and that's very nice. I did also mention this in my Tower of Heaven guide, but this is basically the easiest way of you level up or power up a character without spending any resources. Because, for example, if I take a look at uh, her, for example, um, Juvia, if I look at the magic stone I have right now, it's 346. However, I can just simply remove it if I want to. It doesn't cost me anything, um, which is very nice. Unlike the magic gear, for example, if I need to remove this, you can see it actually costs diamonds. Granted, you get like five free attempts every single month, but still, this is not something that you're able to keep on swapping in and out every single week for your Tower of Heaven mode between your characters, etc. Right? So Energy Circle is definitely the easiest way for you to buff up a character and also just to give the stats in comparison, right? This one, for example, I level up to plus 12. It's able to give me 346 magic attack. If I just look at a single level one character, right? If I look at magic attack, it's 1162. So it's quite straightforward. Me just equipping one single stone is able to give me like a 25% or 30% increase in my stats, which is absolutely insane. Not to mention, if I just level up this once, which you can see doesn't cost much resource, I'm able to put two magic stones. So eventually I can get a 50% increase in, well, as more like 25% increase in two of my stats, which is very, very strong um, way for you to, you know, well, very easy way for you to buff up a character without kind of leveling them up or investing their gears. Etc. So that's kind of why Magic Circle is very, very nice. Now, it does have one disadvantage, however, which is that there's no way for you to actually kind of upgrade the rarity of your stone. So, for example, when you do actually enhance the Magic Stone, it increases the number on the top left hand side, but it doesn't actually increase the rarity. So, it doesn't allow you to go from 3 star to 4 star, which is a bit sad because most of the other systems in this game, for example, characters, you can eventually start up. Uh, will level up, tear up with by using your shards or for example magic gear, you can actually enhance it uh, to eventually to upgrade them to a high rarity. So for example, I had my magic grail which was originally just purple and I was able to feed it enough stuff to make it now gold. So that's kind of why all of the other system, even though it it's not transferable, but at least there's one way for you to keep on upgrading them to high rarity. Uh, unfortunately, that is not the case for energy stones, so that's something you have to bear in mind. And that's kind of also why later on in my video, I'm going to talk about the ways for you to actually get really higher rarity, you know, the 5 star or the 6 star energy stones, because those are really some of the best items in this game, because they are not very easy for you to get, right? You actually have to either use luck or events to obtain them. You can't just level them up from like lower rarity one. And that's kind of what makes them quite special as well. Okay. So now, uh, that's basically, uh, how it works on a high level. Now, once you have unlocked a few of those slots, what you will also notice is that you also get some stats for having multiple different colors. So all of the magic stone, they are made up two parts. So there's the color, which have four colors, which is the, this red, blue, green, what kind of the rainbow color. And you also have six parts. So there's actually a lot of vari uh, variation between the energy stones you can get. There's essentially like 24 different combinations, right? Um, but basically what you see here is that if you actually unlock certain number of colors that so you get some additional stats for it as well now for every single character it's always going to be the same uh it's always going to be attack plus five percent and hp plus ten percent then follow up 
by giving you that kind of rock paper scissor advantage. So for example, for power character, I will be increasing damage to agility. For a uh, um, universal one, it will be increased power uh, damage out by four percent to everyone else that kind of thing so it's always going to be the same kind of stats you'll be getting uh, but you just really want to make sure you actually get that right cover color combination to make sure you benefit from all of this so that's something you want to bear in mind um, and also the next thing you also want to bear in mind is that when you are actually enhancing them even though you are not able to uh, upgrade the rarity of those uh, energy stone. It's actually, I guess, a good thing to know is that when you do actually upgrade them, um, you do kind of use any level of resources you use to upgrade them previously are still counted towards if you use them as food to upgrade a new one. So, for example, here, if I just put in, so right now you can see I am uh, plus 12 uh, and I need 840 experience. If I actually put in something which is like a single four star, uh, you can see it give me only 80 experience. However, if I put in four star, which I've already enhanced multiple times, what you will see here is filled up by 800, but on top of that, it actually increased by a whole level. So what actually is able to give me is that 800 plus whatever the level before that was also 840. So basically a plus 12, they're able to give me 1640 experience as opposed to a single one, which only have 80. Now I haven't done the calculation with the math to know whether that is like, you know, a hundred percent of all of the resource that you need in order to upgrade. In fact, let me do a quick calculation. Uh, actually, no, it will take too long for me to do the math now. Um, but basically, yeah, I don't actually know whether it's going to be a hundred percent, but at least it's fair to say that a good proportion of the experience that you have been using to upgrade it will still be coming towards if you do happen to use that uh, later on as food. And then the other thing you do have to also uh, remember is that even though you may be getting all the resources back, it still do cost gold to enhance every single time. So it's probably still not a good idea to just upgrade your random, you know, one star or two star energy stones. Uh, but generally, I recommend anything which is four star or higher. Then this is actually something you do want to concentrate on. Uh, and also, you if you do have same things which have different rarity, always prioritize the ones which actually have high rarity because the buff you get from them is a lot, uh, it's quite high to be honest, a lot higher than what like simple level up is able to give you. So for comparison, for example, I have this five star one at plus 12 and that's going to give me 3,224 HP. Um, and then I have this one, which is a four star also at plus 12. It's only going to give me 2,350. So that's like a 30% increase or 40% increase in the stats that it's able to give. So it's actually a considerable jump. Uh, same thing if you go from three star to four star as well. If I have a good example, um, I have a good example. So this one, for example, this is three star at plus twelve. It's going to give me two hundred twenty-two. Whereas a four star at plus twelve, it's going to give me three hundred forty-six. One's magic attack, one's physical attack, but they're they're the same. They're like one to one. So obviously, once again, you can see like a forty or fifty percent increase from stats just from having a higher rarity. So you definitely do want to focus on the higher rarity energy stones, etc. Now, when we're actually talking about the stats, you would also notice there's like a main stat and also a sub stat. Now, substats, it does give you the range for them, so you can check them out. Uh, I did notice the substats for different positions are slightly different sometimes. Uh, I haven't done like enough checks to see exactly where they differ. Um, because, for example, if you compare this one, this one, which is in position 3, uh, you can see physical attack goes from 14 to 29. Uh, defense goes to from 51 to 100. Two. And then if I go to this one, you can see 51 goes to 102 and the attack goes 14 to 29, so exactly the same. The magic defense is higher, but that's only because I already have like a random stats here, which is magic defense, so I think it got added towards that. I'm not too sure, because if I already have 143, I don't know where it says I like, go from the range of 132 to 183, so I'm not too sure, 100% sure, how the sub stats work. It doesn't seem to be any like straightforward pattern based on rarity or based on position. Um, so if anyone do know, then let me know as well. I'd be interested to find out. Uh, because I'll have, from what I'm saying, for example, a four-star one gives a slightly different range of sub to another four-star. 
uh, like even if it's their both at a plus 12 level. So I'm not too sure how the stats, uh, substats section work here, other than the fact it just seems to be purely random. But in terms of the main stats, there's actually like a pattern to it, which is that for position 1, 3, and 5, it's always going to be fixed. Position 6 is always going to be like a percentage of certain things, so it's either a crit rate or crit damage. Uh, so that's kind of like always going to be offensive. And then position 4, that's always going to be defensive, so it's either HP defense or crit res. Now, obviously, this is kind of your personal choice, whether you want to go for something which is like more stable, so like a HP or defense, will go for something which is more RNG based, so like critical hit rate or resistance, etc. Um, so that's completely up to you. But out of the permanent ones, like between HP and defense, defense is normally what you want to aim for, purely because of the value it's able to give. So for example, if I take a look at I1 position 4, for example, if I take a look at those two, which are both 2-star rarity, no level added, I'm either able to get 387 HP or 133 mana defense. So you can see the value of HP to defense is at 3 to 1. However, if you actually take a look at the stats of character, uh, normally your HP is like 10 times higher, like 10 times the size of your defense. So the value of HP to defense is more like 10 to 1. Um, so that basically means that proportion wise, it's better to, for you to focus on defense on your magic stones because the value is going to give you proportionally uh, for defense is a little higher than the value is able to give you proportionally for HP. So definitely go for defense if you want something which is a bit more consistent, or you can go for that RNG chance based on crit, that's kind of up to you. And then basically if you actually think about this, so 1, 3 and 5 are fixed, number 6 is always like offensive one, number 4 is always like defensive one, the only variation you really have is going to be your position 2, where you have a choice between attack, defense, or HP. So pretty much like in terms of the main stat, there's not too much you actually need to worry about. You basically, 5 of the 6 are pretty much doing the same thing, and you just need to decide on either attacking one or defensive one for position 2. And that's pretty much it, to be honest. Uh, the main thing that, to me, which makes more defense more like kind of the coloring and also the positioning, rather than the actual main stats itself. Uh, but that's just kind of what I'm thinking right now. Maybe eventually when you see certain character which scale of different stats, then it's going to be slightly different. Um, but right now, for example, even for Wendy, who's a healer, uh, her healing is based on magic stats. So, you know, I don't really see any reason of trying to tweak certain gears just for one particular stat because I haven't really seen any skills which scale based on anything other than attack. So that's kind of what what the way it is. Oh, I think for shows, maybe, for example, Gildas, I do remember there's something which is scaling of based on HP. No, this is scaling based on magic attack. Was that Ikaruga? No, I can't find it now. Uh, but yeah, basically, you just need to take a look at your stats to see whether there's anything which actually scale off on like a different stats to attack. Um, is there anything? Oh, so this one, yeah. So, uh, Gilda, for example, does have something which is scale based on his HP. This is only at 6 level higher. But yeah, so this is only going to be for a very, very small proportion of characters. So I think like for most scenarios, you can probably just ignore kind of the difference between attack, defense, or HP for the magic gears. It just doesn't make that much difference to me. Uh, the one that really makes the most difference is more kind of um, the positioning and coloring, and also, of course, how high rarity your uh, energy stones are. Now, in terms of how you can actually get energy stones, so basically you get them from this kind of daily event, where every day you have a few chances, and as you go through higher levels, you're able to actually unlock different uh, rarities. Now, the rate for them, they, it doesn't show you the actual rate of what percentage chance you're getting. From my experience, the rate is not awful, but it's not the highest. I think probably right now, so I'm already towards end of week two, uh, I've probably gotten the highest rarity maybe twice, and I do play out all of my chances every single day. So you're able to assist three times plus two times per day um, that you do initiate yourself. So that's five, five times per day, and uh, 14 days, so that's 70 
70 chances and I managed to get it like two or three times, I think. So the rate is not awful, but maybe that does change as you go through higher rarities. Um, so, and if you look at the pattern here, so it's difficulty one and two, it's only two star. Three and four is three star. Five and six is going to be four star. And uh, seven and eight is going to be five star. And there's like a difficulty nine as well, which I assume is potentially having the chance of getting a six star. Uh, but like I said, until I actually unlock that, I don't actually know what the rate is. So maybe this is not something you actually want to bet on. And then the other thing you also want to bear in mind is that um, it does take a high level to actually unlock it, right? So for example, right now at level 45, I'm still only able to unlock a four star rarity. So that basically means in order for me to unlock a five star, I need to be at least level 50. And then for me to unlock like a chance for six star, I have to be at least level 60. Uh, and that's obviously going to take you a while. That we're talking about like at least like a month or two away, uh, because it does get harder for you to level up as the game progress, etc. So obviously that's not something you really want to bet your chances on. And it will take a long time. So something I do recommend is try to keep an eye out for any events which is able to give you a chance for the high rarity because one they're a bit more guaranteed and two you are able to get it a lot earlier than having to wait for level sixteen. And also as you progress, uh, what you realize is that a vast majority of the energy stones they are flat stats rather than percentages obviously anything with a crit rate or crit resistant crit damage they are percentage which is fair enough but for any of the other stats they are actually a constant stat number and as your character get higher level then the same number the same fixed number is going to mean less value to you but 166 for example means a lot to me on character which is level one in comparison to your character which is already at level 40 and that's kind of why by the time you actually get to level 60 the value of energy stone may not actually be as much help as what you may be able to get now so if you do want like a massive boost to your power then definitely try to secure yourself a higher rarity energy stone it's going to be a very good idea now there's one way which i can see which is very easy for you to secure well not very easy but at least there's like a way you can definitely secure it uh, without competing against other people it's kind of in the tower heaven where i meant to for example unlock a uh, five star one by clearing floor 15 last week and obviously as you go all the way up higher you're actually able to get like a six star one when you come um complete floor 29 the only problem is is this is only one time reward so yes you're able to get a few five stars one two three four so you're able to get four five star and one six star energy stone from this but those are one time rewards so that's that's pretty much it that's all you're gonna get and that's not gonna be enough for you to you know power up your one character or even yeah, it's not going to be enough for you to power up one character because one character is six and you can't even choose the position i'm pretty sure i think it's like a random one that you get um so for example uh yeah of a random color uh it doesn't say the position but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a random position as well so it's not a very easy way for you to know what you'll be getting from this so you do definitely want to keep an eye out for other ways to get it and that will be through events so for example right now there's this event which is this uh, kind of like tower mode and you are able to secure some really nice ones now this is kind of like a bit of pay to win though because for you to actually get a five star you need to be in top 10 and for you to secure a six star you need to be at the top three um depending on the server i guess because i am in one of the first servers so i think there's actually a lot of you know quite hardcore players who actually are willing to spend a lot of money in this game so i'm i know for a fact i'm definitely not going to be able to get any of those really nice rewards because you know they are so much higher level than me i'm only on floor 74 and they already are 179 so you know it's not even comparable to the for me to even try to have a chance of getting that so unfortunately this one's kind of like almost like blocked behind locked behind paywall uh, unless you happen to be on like a server which is not very competitive at all but otherwise for most cases i think this is kind of like out of question for vast majority of players uh so the one i really found to be very very interesting is actually gonna be this event also just to know uh it's not you can't buy that in the shops either for example this is one of like the most premium shop uh there is in the game and you can only get since which is like um magic gears or kind of those uh 
this function magic device uh, you are not actually able to get any of the energy stone and similarly seen for loads of other shops as you can see you can't actually get energy stone very easy or higher rarity energy stone for any of the shops uh, this one the guild one is only going to give you like a four star maximum so that's not like four star you can actually get from your daily clear so i wouldn't worry about like spending currency to just get four star uh, but yeah so the one i found which is actually really really interesting and i hope they do repeat that in the future it's actually going to be this event now i'm still debating on whether it's the right thing to do but basically if you actually save up enough currency to do a thousand summons at once you actually are going to get yourself a six star uh, in fact, you're going to get yourself two six star because there's also this one. And this is actually also a location selective. So basically, you can actually choose which position you want you want to be. So you can make sure you're actually able to get a character completely maxed out with all six of their magic stones, uh, all having six star. So this is the only one which I'm able to find, which is actually, I think, easy, somewhat easily accessible for any players, regardless of whether they want to spend money or not. Um, so this is definitely something I would recommend for you to keep an eye out. Now, obviously, a thousand summons is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Um, but I would suggest you to at least keep hold of your resources, if possible, um, until uh, somewhat, either you or maybe if I manage to do it, I may update this guide in the future until I think someone's able to hit level 60 and actually unlocks um difficulty nine for this uh daily battle where you're actually able to have a chance of getting four star uh only till then and then i know kind of roughly how likely it is that it's going to be for you to actually drop a six star energy stone otherwise i do feel like six star energy stone is possibly one of the rarest items for you to get in this game due to the fact that it's either uh, there could be a high random chance between the color and also the position you want and also the fact that it just doesn't you can't just really buy it from or well, obtain it from anywhere else in the game other than those events and unless even if they do this event and it come back in the future this is very much to kind of lock behind like a paywall because you have to be kind of pay to win to secure the first three positions so honestly after all of the events right now i'm seeing uh the one i'm talking about saving up a thousand jewel is actually the only one which is kind of like feasible for let's say the free to plays to actually have a good chance of getting one of the rarest items in the game so that's going to be my advice just keep hold of your summon tickets uh for the time being till we discover either other ways to get six star energy stones or maybe they have a different event in the future where you can get six star energy stone a bit more easily so that you are actually then able to make that trade off um, and also just holding on to your resources it's not actually going to hurt anyone right it's not like saying that you're not spending it it's just that potentially you need to skip certain characters uh, doing their banners but from the way i've seen on how the chinese version works all of the candidate uh, characters do come back for repeat anyway uh, having that assailed in draws uh, can potentially also means that if you do go into your uh, characters you are then able to hit let's say for this one for example if you say about 500 limited currency and also 500 normal elite summons you are then able to guarantee get yourself a bit more uh, copies and pities for the character you really want to make sure that you can actually completely max them out to six star etc as well so i actually do think it's a good idea for you to just come kind of keep hold of your currency one because every single time when you do have a character you can try them out and that gives you the chance to build up your currency uh, and also giving you to, to go for the chance to get that six star energy stone but also giving you the opportunity to test out different characters to know which one you really want and then when you do have that character coming back at repeat then just go all out and just kind of max them out completely to six star but that's going to be my source on energy circle 